A lot of times you hear people say that cybersecurity, you know, pen testing is not an entry level job. Well, in this one, I want to share with you an interview I did with uh, a recent client that has been able to get straight into cybersecurity as his first ever job coming out of college. And uh, just a reminder, if you are watching this on Monday, then tomorrow, Tuesday, at the end of the day, is the final day to sign up for the Web Pen Test Workshop. You can find the details to that in the link in the description below. But let's just get right into the interview. So I was going the university traditional route. And at the end of my freshman year, I chose computer science. And I got a free Udemy course, uh, Practical Statical Hacking by TCM Academy, aka um, the Cyber Mentor. And I did about like half of that course. And then after that, I moved to Hack the Box and rooted a lot of the easy boxes on there. And um, yeah, then I realized that there was all the more I, the more pen testing I did on Hack the Box, the more I realized that I didn't know. And I'm like, well, I don't even know basic networking or basic anything almost. So I started going, I started like searching up how to go about things. And well, I started with the CompTIA A+, but then I realized that that's going to take me a very long time because then I would have to become a sysadmin for X amount of years, probably like a lot of years. Because that's what um, most people who I've searched up said, that you're going to have to do this first. And then after that, you're going to have to somehow get lucky and, or no, you're going to have to get a bunch of certifications, not just the A+, but then also the Network+, plus, the Security+. plus. And even after all that, you still won't have the practical skills. You will only have the knowledge. So then you'll probably only get like a tr like a very trivial job in security. So I don't know. I spent a lot of time wasting uh, just go hopping on different certs and different paths. And I really wasn't getting too much anywhere. And then um, fast forward to my junior year, I took a few co uh, comp sci courses. I learned how to code, learned how to script a little bit. Um, I learned a lot about a, like internal network penetration testing, but I still wasn't really comfortable. Like, you know, I, I still did not think I had the skills to, in order to get a job yet or anything yet. And so I was like, okay, let me try to get like a regular internship. And I sh shot so many, uh, like I, I, I applied to so many places, but I wasn't able to get anything. And then that's when uh, it was like uh, summer of my junior year. And I'm like, okay, I need a mentor <laughs> and <laughs> I came across your channel uh, on the black Python series. Cause that's what I learned how to do a lot of the scripting stuff. And I really liked the way that you were, I guess, um, how, how you like uh, explained um, things that I would, uh, to make it easier for me to understand. Cause like on your channel, you explain things like as if I was a five-year-old. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I really like that. So, um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to risk it. You know, let, let's see how this year pass goes. And um, I mean, you like, you would have, you, the year pass comes with like four, you get four courses and get one on one training. And, um, uh, and yeah, so I joined at the beginning of the summer because I, I wasn't able to land an internship before. And when I did that, we had our one on one, one on one consultation. And there I started learning your techniques to like, I guess, well, A, market myself better, you know what to study, what to actually, like, uh, I guess, what path I should be studying in. And after just, like, just in a little bit of time, I felt like I was already, like, on track. Like, I knew, where, like, a destination to go to. So, um, yeah, so I guess that's the, the part before. And then... Uh, wait, do you want to add? Do you want to ask a new question, or do you want me to just continue? <laughs> oh, you can continue on, yeah. Yeah, whatever you want to say, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah. So then we had our one-on-one -on -one consultation. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm free to say anything, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I definitely like the, the way that you told me to like market myself saying that, you know, I should be like, um, you know, trying to like just do pen testing and like, um, like pen test, like other people's work and things like that. I started doing a little bit of that where. I, I mean, I've, I mean, I mean, I mean, I was a computer science major in a university, and, and there's not that many cybersecurity roles there. And but there was a lot of software engineers and a lot of people working on projects. So I, I had a lot of friends who were already in CompSci. So I just started asking them. Some of them had websites. Some of them had 
these things and i just started asking them hey can i do an internal <laughs> penetration test <laughs> and yeah um I even like what they like. We we would do it together uh, with someone. Yeah, because like they were probably really interested, right? They were curious. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like some of them even also got like hacked the box like subscriptions for like a month or so. <laughs> and yeah, then um, but I think like one big highlight was definitely the um, the web penetration testing course that you had over the summer. That was great. I thought that was amazing because the one I where felt... I collaborated with the uh, with the other software developer, right? And we had like yeah. a, a software yeah. development team and a pen testing team. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. That was and, yeah, where they like created that like demo website, and then all the penetration testers. Um, you know, we 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 uh, we performed a security uh, web assessment against the website, and I mean, I thought that it was. I thought it was really fun because I mean through that I learned how to do like nearly I think yeah I think all of like the top 10 web, web application like security I mean web application for yeah the OWASP top 10 basically yeah the yeah. OWASP top 10 yeah that that website it was like because I guess the website was kind of like designed for that but right yeah I thought that that was great and I really liked the fact that I that was my it was my first like actual uh penetration test like like yeah it was probably action. the closest thing you've done to like a real world experience at that mm -hmm. point would you say yeah yeah and yeah actually writing a report and then actually sharing that report with everybody else was also pretty fun and it was like an experience i learned a lot through that um i learned like whenever i like initially when i wrote it it wasn't like perfect uh, right. like you stated out so many things that were wrong with it like you know like how i like clammed like i like put a bunch of things into like one section and you were like, no, you should probably like, you know, split this up. But, oh, uh, and then I still didn't finish the reproduction, but then I did later on. Um, but yeah, I thought that was great. And what was great about that, even more great about that, is the fact that I was able to put it on my resume. And I was able to market myself as like an information security researcher, you know, doing things on my own time. Nice. And I, I just, I just put that, I stopped that on my resume and I put that like since I've, I've been doing that since like June or so. And so, I was accumulating like a few months of experience and um, I wrote everything down. My notes are more like um, before my notes were like a lot like less organized. Now they're very organized and they're like kind of like little write-ups and everything. So if anybody were to ask me, like if, uh, if I actually like, if the employer actually did go, go back to contact me, I would be able to like show them all the work and everything, you know, this is, it was uh that's what i think landed me the job um so i got a job as an information security analyst trainee at like 75k and that's like my first job without any experience yeah, without any that's really good wow, nice. with nothing and um yeah, i mean i did have like a lot of experience i mean i had like i knew like basic security stuff from like try hack me and some internal penetration stuff from like hack the box and but i think that the deal breaker was definitely um, the fact that they were asking me about this one about what I did over the summer, and because it because they didn't they never they said that they never see anything like like that at all. Oh, where, like where you yeah, put just, in that kind of effort over the summer yeah. and you yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so a great then, way for you to stand out then basically yeah yeah and then they just asked me for like the report and I'm like okay yep here you go and <laughs> oh, um, nice. yeah because uh, you already had it you already you already yeah. put it together for the mm -hmm. course so it was very easy just to yeah yeah awesome. and yeah the HR also like they went a little bit they went a, a, okay so I made it very obvious that I only cared much about only cared about the security portion because this company initially I think they were looking for more like Java developers but like uh they I did like research on their um uh, company and i knew that they had a security team and they had security roles and um one of those roles were um information security analyst and so i asked about that and said that this is really all i care about doing um i mean i i mean i'm fine with doing the other roles but like this is what i really care about doing so and the hr team knowing that sent that report to like the like the team leads in the security side and those guys, they've already, like, accepted me to their team. So after, like, the trainee part, I'll, I already have the, I think, the full-time position, like, in the bag. There's no, like, extra stuff I need to do uh, because I already, like, proved myself, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, that's... 
Yeah. So yeah, I think um, you hit on a lot of points there. That's really good. So we mm-hmm. kind of got to see the the progression of you, like the story over time of you know what it was like for you before you joined, you know why you joined, and then um, now where you're at in mm-hmm. a much better position. And I always say that getting that first cybersecurity job is just so important because it gets exponentially easier from there because before you have the first job, you land the first job in the industry. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot harder, right? You're going to have to apply to more jobs and things like that. From, you know, a lot of people will. Um, but once you land that first job, really the best thing that you can have on your resume, like certs are great. Um, degrees are great, but the best thing you can have on your resume is actual experience in the field. And so, I love how you really took advantage of the year pass in the way that, you know, I would have designed it up. Basically you used uh, the year pass and the courses that you took as a way to gain experience without already having experience, right. Without already having a job, you were able to get experience and showcase that to an employer. And now you're getting actual on the job experience from here on. It's going to be that much easier for you to get better pen testing jobs, um, higher salary, all of that. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to ask is what made the year pass stand out to you from other options? Because, you know, let's face it, there's a ton of different um, resources out there when it comes for learning pen testing and things like that. And yeah, I'm just curious what stood out to you about it. Um... So what stood out to me, I guess, like the value of it, like four, four courses, you know, um, I don't know how many webinars, uh, however many is in a year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like 48 just for the course yeah. itself, not counting like the weekly calls we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then be like the Telegram chat was really nice because I could basically ask you anything, anytime. Um, you know, I could, I could personally text you if I wanted to any, like anytime. Yeah. And just having that mentor mentorship one to one. Um, the thing is that other like I guess um, courses or other like like it, I mean I could have like tried to go do a bunch of Udemy courses and then like join their Discord servers and then like I don't know subscribe to some like monthly thing. But the thing is that those things are so like I guess um, those are like a lot more like extremely populated, and I don't think. Like just getting a one-on-one call with like, yeah. with one of those people require like two hundred bucks per call, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of insane. That's way too much. And the thing is that I know what they're gonna probably say. They're gonna because since these people, I've been like following them. They're just gonna tell me the, the traditional route, and I'm like, okay, um, <laughs> that's not really what I want. But then with you, however, you have like your you allow us to have a, as many calls as we want, which is which is like a lot better from the bank and yeah. um also the fact that you you do have a refund policy i will note that <laughs> yeah but yeah, exactly um yeah i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because i think i definitely yeah. got what i wanted uh um, yeah but you yeah, know there's nothing to lose um here because um it's like it's almost like a steal you know <laughs> yeah and and i think yeah it's probably worth highlighting the refund policy that he's referring to and that is that you know, with all these courses, the year pass and, and everything like that, I do have a refund policy, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So if you're not satisfied, if you buy, let's say you buy the year pass, you buy a course and you're not satisfied with the level of service that um, that you get from that, then yeah, you have a no questions asked 100% refund um, that you can do. So there's really, like you were saying, there's really no risk. And the reason that I offer that is I am very confident in the in the product and the service that I provide to to all of you guys. So yeah, if for whatever reason you don't feel that I'm I'm giving you know living up to the service that was promised, then yeah, that refund uh, is available. So yeah, that's why I'm able to do that. And yeah, I, I really appreciate all of that. I think definitely one of the huge motivators for me to create. Um, the year pass and the courses and just create elevate cyber in general was that there was really no alternative that I saw. Like I don't, I still, I don't, I haven't seen any, anyone selling, you know, offering what I'm offering in terms of having that individualized attention. Like you mentioned, you could get all these Udemy courses, maybe join some discord channels and you could get some help and maybe some decent advice here and there, but you wouldn't really have the same level of individualized atten- uh, attention and really just have that mentor that you were looking for, like you mentioned uh, earlier on. 
And it just saves you so much time because could you have maybe found the answers that you were looking for if you joined enough discords and bought enough courses? Yeah, maybe, but you know, you, it would take you a lot longer because there would be like so much more like searching and stuff you'd have to do rather than just getting one solution that will meet all of your needs. And then you don't really have to worry about that anymore. And you can instead focus on where you really want to be putting your time, which is, you know, developing the skill set and, um, you know, coming up with something that you could showcase to employers. And so, yeah, I think that it was a perfect fit for, for you and probably for a lot of people um, that are trying to get into the field. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious, like, um, what would you say is, uh, your, you know, the thing you like the most about the year past? I know you mentioned a number of different, you know, things that is included in that, but what would you say you found the most valuable? The most valuable? Um, I mean, definitely the webinars are the most value, um, that I think personally, yeah, because um, like the live feature, the live aspect of them. Yes, yeah, the live aspect, the fact that I can just stop you whenever and say, okay, what does that mean? Um, is very useful. Um, I do like the fact that between courses, uh, like usually you do like those small little mini labs. I, I do enjoy doing those. Those are pretty fun to do. Um, let me see what else. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say the courses are probably, like, the biggest highlight. And the fact that they're, like, also recorded and I can just go back to whenever I want to is also yeah. that. And, like, the material, it isn't, like, like it isn't, like, a Udemy course at all whatsoever. <laughs> um, you can, <laughs> it's, like, you set up your own whole lab, and then you could, like, you could make up a write-up on literally how to set up that lab and everything we cover inside of it, which is what I'm doing right now with the Act Directory one. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, like, setting... All my notes are set up to where it, as if it's a write-up. So, like, as soon as I'm done with the course, I think I'm just going to, like, start uh, putting up on, on the website or whatever. Or like on yeah, my, I was about to say, it'd be very easy for you to turn those notes into a blog post series. Yeah. And, yeah, then that'll be even better for you. But, yeah, I... I wanted to draw some attention to some of the things you mentioned there. So yeah, we were doing um, what I like to do in between courses, like you was saying is create little challenges for the people in the year past. So I'll have like some little mini CTFs where I'll have a vulnerable server that um, you guys can try and hack and, and level up. Just really the focus on the courses is getting hands-on practice, you know, learning the theory you need to learn, obviously, right? Because when you're in mm -hmm. job interviews and stuff like that, and even just for your own um, solid foundation, you want to know the theory stuff. But as well, we want to really be putting in a lot of hands on the keyboard time, you know, time where we're actually trying to use the tool, use the technique, um, and that is the aspect that the courses bring as well. So like you're mentioning, it's not at all like a Udemy course. You have a lab environment where you can, you know, attack that lab environment. And the way we've been doing the recent courses is we would just have like where you have that lab environment forever. So not only can you write some pretty good blog posts and take good notes on that, but you can also expand that after the course is mm -hmm. done. And it's something you can keep adding on to. Uh, as well. And so I really like to bring that aspect of it uh, in. And yeah. so, yeah, I'm I'm glad to hear that, that, yeah, that was valuable to you. And uh, did you want to add something? Uh, uh, like no, something? I think that's, yeah, I mean, that's. Okay. Yeah. I was going to also ask, you know, were there any unexpected curveballs during the year past? And if so, like that you faced, and if so, like how did how was I able to help you overcome those challenges? Um, uh, unexpected curveballs in the year pass. Um, um, you know, like while you were in it, you know, maybe yeah. something that came up, um, either in the year pass itself or, you know, a challenge that you faced that it was able to help you with. I mean, I think the, well, what do you call it? I guess the one thing that I probably should have done was ask more questions. And, like, because I didn't have, like, the one-on-one -on -one consultation with you and for, like, a couple weeks or, like, a few weeks into the year pass. Mm -hmm. And um, I still wasn't, like, fully, like, uh, I guess, comfortable with what, the, well, I, figuring out, like, what the heck I was still doing. And um, once I actually had the one-on-one, -on -one, like, co like, consultation with you, I, I had, like, a, I finally had, like, a plan. Because I usually, like, before that, I was, like, spreading myself too thin. Um, I was doing, like, your um 
what was it the the youtube series the black python series i was setting studying for like two different certs at the same time i was also have i also had like 18 credits in college and um i, I definitely spread myself way too thin and i don't know just to clear up in the yearly pass especially the week to week because i could just tell you the on progress on what i made and things like that really helped me out um what do you think so yeah, yeah i think that's that's for curveballs uh, i don't know that's a that's a tough one <laughs> um <laughs> well yeah it sounds like you did mention earlier like the, there was a major curveball of like you were graduating and you needed to land a job and you didn't want to have to take that super long route of working as a and help desk and then sysadmin and all that stuff mm -hmm. um as well so that that might be one too but yeah i'm glad that you mentioned all that stuff because yeah that is that is one thing right is that there's like so many different routes that you can take to go into this stuff there is it's not like you know becoming a doctor or a lawyer where your path's very clear like just go to school and go to med school or whatever and then you're a doctor right yeah um but what that also means is that it is very easy to spread yourself too thin and um not really have a concrete plan so that is a huge emphasis of the year pass is helping you come up not with just a concrete plan but with a concrete plan that is tailored to you individually like where you're mm -hmm. currently at and what your goals are and because anyone can learn the skill sets um to be a pen tester and become one but if you don't have a clear path and you don't have um for one thing it's hard to come up with your custom plan if mm -hmm. you don't have the knowledge uh, from someone that's already a pen tester and can tell you like, yeah, these are for sure the things you need to know. It's going to be really difficult for someone to come up with their own plan for this. Yeah. And then, yeah, it just saves you so much time. And not only that, you can, you can be, you know, it gives you some sense of security and knowing like, okay, you know, I, I might be struggling learning this thing, but I know at least that I'm learning what I need to learn. I, I know what those things are that I need to learn in order to get to where I want to go. So, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Sure. I, I got another one, too. Um, one okay. big thing I think that really helped me out was definitely your Pomodoro productivity timer thing. That really helped me out because I've been using that ever since, also with uh, like Kanban Flow. Oh, okay. That's also been useful. I've been using that ever since. Nice, <laughs> and, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because that is one of the challenges for a lot of people. It's like, yeah, I know I want to do this, but <laughs> I have all this other stuff going on. How can I make sure that I'm putting in enough time in order mm -hmm. to get these, you know, acquire the skills, right? Yeah, that... And so what he's referring to there is like in all the courses, what I do is it's not just the course. I mean, you have the live course and all the stuff that we've been mentioning in this yep. call so far, but I also package that with a ton of bonuses. And one of the bonuses that I provided in, in one of the previous courses was a pen testing productivity guide. So just um, really answering the question of, well, how can I ensure that I'm putting in the time and how can I come up with a system that even though I have all these ob other obligations, like, you know, for Narmi, he had, uh, uh, you know, his college courses, he said it was like yeah. taking 18 credits and, and all these other obligations. And it's, you know, you really need a system as well to make sure that you're consistently putting in the work. And, you know, like you said, he was applying that. And the end result is that he was able to land a job in the field. The first one being in cybersecurity and, you know, just listening to you talk here, you already mentioned all the things that you have been able to produce from these courses, like your notes, your, you know, reports from mm -hmm. previous courses. And you were able to use that in the interviews. And, you know, can you just speak to like, what was the reaction of the recruiters when uh when they when they saw like all the things that you've not just learned but you know the tangible things you produce like those reports and stuff like that um their reaction okay so they definitely were like i think they were interested in that portion of my resume the most because yeah sure i had like some coding projects said i was studying for like the company of security plus at the time um and and then i had like all the languages like i know like four or five different languages but they really focused on that specific part on the experience section which was like the information security like research uh and like how i did that how i performed web application um security assessments and they really focused on it and they asked me like what did i do what attacks did i did you know who, who was i working with etc cetera, etc cetera. and i think they were 
uh, I'd say that they were most interested. I think that's the best re- like yeah. best way I could uh, explain their reaction. Um, and well, it, yeah, because yeah, the reality have... is no one is doing this. Like no, like yeah. literally no one is doing. Yeah, this. not Everyone very many people like, are doing buying this. Udemy <laughs> courses. Maybe they, you know, a lot of people they buy the Udemy course and they don't even complete it. But certainly a lot of them you know, even if they are buying courses like that, they're not taking notes and like writing reports and producing stuff from it mm-hmm. as well. And, yeah, and so you stood out ultra hard at that yeah, point. And I feel like yeah. for Udemy courses, like you would just say that, oh yeah, I completed this Udemy course, but then right. that yeah. itself, it doesn't really like show that much of value because right, you're not exactly. able to like explain, I, don't, I feel like you're not able to like portray exactly what you did in that course. And like, I mean, hundreds and thousands of other people probably have also done that course. Yeah. So, uh, but like creating a, a lab and being able to display and show that lab to people and show the reports and everything and show that, hey, look, I'm committed and I have an interest in this. Uh, I feel like that is, I guess, why they were most interested interested in it. Also because, yeah, they, not many people were doing this. Like not, not many people have this on their resume. So I guess that's why they were also really interested in it. Yeah, like, it okay, definitely well, shows that you t- you're taking initiative as well. Like you're mm-hmm. you you didn't have to do this, right? You're already in school and all this stuff. Maybe for other people, they already have a nine to five job, and it just shows that you're taking this upon yourself to learn this stuff on your own, and you're actually producing something tangible from it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And also, this like I'm coming from like a university where there's not really a, a cybersecurity type of like program or anything. There's it's just comp sci and computer engineering. Okay. So, um, and like not many people in the job for in itself really have any security roles. And yet I was still able to get one, you know, like yeah, that's amazing. through it, uh, uh, through, uh, like a career fair and everything, but yeah. Yeah, but that's know. great. So I'm curious then, like, what would you tell someone who's considering joining the year pass? Maybe they're, let's say they're, you know, maybe they're in college or maybe they're in a nine to five and they want to make the switch over and they're a bit on the fence. You know, what would you say to, to that person? Mm-hmm. I would definitely say that it's more it's probably worth it because the one-on-one consultation and the one-on-one like um attention is so much more valuable than any Udemy course or Discord server is ever going to give you. Um and then like even if you too try to get like someone who's more like more uh uh expensive it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same quality. Um I think that uh, being able to 24 seven, being able to ask any question to a security professional is a lot more valuable than asking a bunch of anonymous people on like Reddit you know, <laughs> Twitter, or some other thing. It's, it's so much better because you get the, I guess you get Ryan's perspective of like a penetration tester and that's what I want to be. So, I mean, like, uh, I don't know. It's just, it, I think it's a steal. And also you get four courses and all of these courses, you get to create a lab, you get to create write-ups. And with those write-ups, it's almost like, I feel like it's almost confirmed that you're going to get a job. Yeah. Um, because like, as long as you apply As long yourself, as you're actually doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. I think that's, yeah. the, that's the only thing that can really stop you. Is yeah, the only thing. If you're not thing. applying yourself, then it's actually all useless, right? Because then you're yeah. not going to be able to get anything done. But if you're able to apply yourself, then I feel like you're definitely getting the value uh, to like achieve your goals. But yeah, there, there's that removes so much pressure. I would definitely say is that if you yeah. knew 100 percent that you had all the tools around you, you had the the system, you had all the courses, you had everything you needed, and the only way you could fail was to not um, follow through with that. You had that level of certainty then it's so much easier to to get the job because then you know it's like, okay, I don't have to worry about coming up with my own plan or like figuring out what course to do after this course, right? Mm-hmm. It's all laid out for you and all you have to do is execute on that and you're pretty much, like you said, guaranteed to get a job as close to guaranteed as possible, let's just say. Um, so with that being said, is there any you know final comments you'd like to make on the year pass? Anything else you would like to, to say about it? Um... I'd say that you can, I feel like you can come into the the year pass or what, uh, this whole thing from any level of experience. I think, I think that it's great that there's some people who honestly have like, there's some people in the course right now who have never probably touched a computer. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. and I think it's great. Yeah, we have that like truck drivers come. and all that in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're able to come and they're able to ask questions. I'm, it's really nice seeing people like actually learn stuff. It's nice to be in that learning environment. 
Um, so yeah, uh, like I was like hesitant, honestly, at first, like, I'm like, do I know enough? But, you know, um, like to even be like considered to like, you know, like, uh, to join. Cause I mean, we, there, there are some professionals in the chat, um, and like Ryan's also professional, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think you should like alienate yourself just because you don't know anything. I definitely feel like you will get a lot of value. In fact, probably more value than most people. If you come in here without anything like without any experience so yeah that's i think that's my final comment yeah i appreciate that that's a really good point that we hadn't touched on but yeah for sure it's accessible to anyone of, of any skill level and, and in fact we have a lot of people that are you know you said haven't touched a computer before really and like truck drivers all of that stuff and so yeah thanks for your time this was um super valuable. And I think that uh, very insightful um, for a lot of people that are in a similar position or, you know, maybe they haven't even gotten started yet and they've just been interested in uh, cybersecurity, pen testing and, and all that. So yeah, definitely. Thanks a lot.